hey guys how are you I'm starting to uh, you know in the world of investing you see a lot of um a lot of just um, mistakes um, the way people invest actually and it's of course subjective there are many different styles of investing and 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 many different strategies to be successful so but if you think about it certain kind of strategies don't make much much sense at least not to me for example what you see is that many people invest but they take out the, the their initial investment and then let their profits run but it really does not matter where your money is coming from people say yeah but it's just my profits and uh, that i'm letting run and i have my initial investment out so it's less risky for me but it doesn't matter whether you're invested with profits made in the past or if the money is coming from profits you made in the past or if the money is coming from your inherent in, in inheritance or if the money is coming from working your ass off or um, uh, it really doesn't matter where the money is coming from uh, the question is is this a good investment um, and you always work with all your money so you have your portfolio comp and that's 100% of your money is and um, when you invest you don't have to ask yourself where is the money coming from um, of course you can ask yourself can I miss the money and that's why people say that uh, it's profits I made in the past so I don't mind if I lose them so I'm willing to take high risk with them but I think this leads to like wrong decisions because you are basically um, um, it's it's an excuse uh, to justify uh, taking on too much risk uh, if, if one would say like okay uh, well actually okay I agree it's high risk but I only invest like 10% of my portfolio into it and I have 90% invested in uh, a less a risky strategy then okay that makes sense but um, yeah still why would you invest 10% of your portfolio in, a, in an investment that has let's say 50% chance to double but also 50% chance to lose 90% of its value because that's my um, my judgment on many of the investment uh, offerings in the market today uh, in the world of cryptocurrency for example ripple um, some of my fr a friend of mine thinks it's a, a good idea to invest and he has a, a very good list of strong fundamentals that's true but price wise it just went up from 250 mil million market cap to 7 billion market cap it uh, and it also 20 folded the last month versus Bitcoin and this all happened in one month time and price wise this is a really terrible investment right now because it's just 20 folded versus Bitcoin this is a uh, this these kind of performances you rarely see in the market and those that do it have like are the top performing coins so this has happened with Decrit half a year ago okay that's great but since then Decrit hasn't done anything um, and, 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 and it happened to Dash at uh, the start of the year and since then Dash hasn't done anything either uh, and it happened to Monero last year and since then Monero hasn't uh, done anything either and so when you see such gains it means that well very likely uh, that was it and from here on it's gonna be gonna go sideways or downhill probably downhill and then up again and 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 and, and, and flatten out somewhere uh, in the middle but um but 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 but, but uh, and so that's that's past performance of such if something has gone up so much then well the highest odds are that this will happen and so you will have a crash and then it will bounce from that and it will find some some stability somewhere lower than the current price but not too low just yet but this is of course also because we're in a bull market uh, 
cryptocurrency is in a bull, a strong bull now. So all these coins I just mentioned, yeah, they are also still in a bull market. So and even then they are just able to hold their value versus Bitcoin and not go up. But that's because they just went up a lot half a year ago or so. And so of course uh, the the cream is off. Um, uh, the sweet returns are gone there versus Bitcoin. So this is most likely for Ripple the case too, even if the bull market continues. Um, but if we have a bear market, then those coins that have gone up versus Bitcoin the most will likely also drop the most, not in the long term, but in the short term. When you have panic crashes, those things that went up the most crash the most too. So. For me, okay, something like Ripple, yeah, sure, it could still double. It's very hard to predict how high something can go. Even when it's just tenfold or twentyfold, it, it could still double in the world of crypto, so that's true. But it could also lo lose 90%, and if you're fair, you should actually give a higher probability to the 90% loss sooner or later than the doubling. But of course, the momentum is extremely strong right now, so let's 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 give it a 50 50 percent chance that it doubles or that it drops in a flash crash to 90 percent or or that it drops over several months 90 percent and so so these are the odds and 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 it's it's my opinion of course everything depends on how high you estimate these odds but for me that's not a good investment because you 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 your chance to win even if it's the same, you're you're gonna win less than that you can possibly lose, and and so that's the case for most cryptocurrencies right now. Uh, but of course, then you can ask, yeah, but Mark, why are you still invested eighty percent in cryptocurrency than today? Um, well, um, well, because I'm doing it wrong. I shouldn't be invested 80% of cryptocurrency today um, so that's what I'm doing every day working on selling altcoins and selling bitcoins for fiat eh? I see people do the inverse some people raise their exposure to altcoins or even raise their exposure to Bitcoin right now with fiat and you know I don't think the timing is right for that think you have to admit that you were wrong in the past not to invest then but to correct that mistake today is really not uh, the right move uh, it's too late for that uh, Bitcoin even though uh, it's 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 um it looks very good for Bitcoin uh, right now it's actually thousand eight hundred dollars there today it went up from thousand six hundred to yesterday or so uh, and, and altcoins have corrected somewhat uh, but uh, it all depends on how you estimate Bitcoin to go but I don't think it's gonna go that high so for me $2,300 that's that's it I'm, uh, then I'm gonna like cut back to a lower exposure to crypto than fiat so mm, so so I, so so I think there's not much of course potential with Bitcoin anymore and there are some serious risks too. Bitcoin has fundamental problems today. It's not as great a cryptocurrency anymore at all than it used to be due to the just bad management decisions. Um, um, fees are, 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 are going up rapidly. Growth in amount of transactions has totally stalled. So the fundamentals are bad and this really can also cause the bull market to finish earlier than most people expect so so i think there is a risk here um in altcoins for sure and in bit even in bitcoin um and also you see a lot of the first signs that uh, we are near the top uh, you see uh, cnbc start to publish articles about bitcoin bitcoin rise okay it's only the first ones you see in mainstream media so it could still double from here eh? that's true uh, normally you see a lot more the same with like search term of cryptocurrency it only doubled or so the past month but in last bull markets it tenfolded um 
other indicators first indicators is like, like you see post people are start to like mortgage their house to buy bitcoin that's that's also starting now people that give up their day jobs uh, to become full-time trader these all these things are starting to appear which means that the end is near uh, but of course it can still double uh, but risk is really up a lot right now so so voila that's my opinion on the market and um, I hope I, I succeed in selling enough um, um, now I'm, I'm I'm selling again some Bitcoin and 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 when altcoins pick up again I'll be continuing to sell altcoins again. Uh, so uh, I wish you all good luck and uh, be safe.